do you believe you made a right choice i don't have any specific uh, choice like i'm coming to england or scotland i just came over the universities and the curriculum yeah i definitely i made a right choice overall you would say that glasgow is a better choice glasgow is a 100% definitely <laughs> better choice than england or london okay. yeah. but i don't just apply like bulk uh, every random stuff in the last you will just uh, see whole rejections because you are you're saying you are, he apply apply very focused you may not apply that many but apply in a very focused manner yeah. in the relevant field where you pick I want to do this and then yeah. you make sure you're applying well uh -huh. but to only that field yep sure the rules and regulations are changing there's a white paper there will be more such regulations coming and you know things are getting tougher would you still advise students who want to come to the UK come here if you are looking to study abroad then watch this full video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated it's the most busy place we have found in the yeah. university so far you can find the more indians here we can actually sit here and uh, talk as well sure uh, uh, you had some strong insights about full time job how are students in which domain what kind of companies are students getting jobs in the electronics field yeah basically uh, in electronics we can find like a vlsi like our uh, embedded domain in this uh, country for from few years the trend is the embedded trend slightly decreased mm -hmm. but there is a more rise in the semiconductor or vlsi field if you want to just get land uh, jobs in this field you have to have uh, some certain specific skills like digital electronics mm -hmm. cmos and uh, there is a company called cadence which will provide the certifications which are mostly valued around all companies the main companies which are targeting these positions are qualcomm apple cadence mostly and there is a synopsis as well so these are uh, well heard companies like in india so landing jobs in those companies and in this country it will be easier if you are having uh, experience mm -hmm. and the skill set back in india it will be like a more uh, complicated interviews more number of rounds but if you are having a, a certain experience and uh, if you want to land in the same role in a big companies then coming abroad is a good option and uh, you have to justify your skills so that uh, the company would hire you so all the like technical uh, like cmos and everything that you spoke about yeah. and the certifications those are kind of like become important if yeah. you are looking for these roles so, so you yeah. need to ensure that you build those skills yeah. you practice them while you are in the university and if you can do them before you are coming that will be a much bigger added advantage tell us a little bit more about glasgow versus other cities in scotland or england do you believe you made a right choice yeah i definitely i made the right choice the, coming to the glasgow the people are very friendly here personally i like the weather i like the environment here it feels fresh every time so coming to people they do friendly uh, but i found a bit uh, hard uh, understanding this language yeah. so that's a complicated <laughs> yeah, language the, that, the scottish accent scottish accent was too difficult yeah. everything uh, rest is the fine i choose a scotland over england because in england there were like a more population i think i mean there is a more small colleges like well known universities or yeah. well known uh, companies around england but there are everything is uh, at the center of the london yeah so coming to in scotland uh, i found that everything was near uh, edinburgh yeah so i don't have any specific uh, choice like i'm coming to england or scotland i just came over the universities and the curriculum this uh, this university of glasgow curriculum uh, fit Uh, very well to my criteria but i just got to know i made a good decision after coming to after glasgow after coming to glasgow so you are enjoying here and you find that uh, but do you think uh, being closer to london would help you in get landing uh, a job more easily i think no because uh, you have to approach your recruiter or uh, any from the big companies or mega companies through online itself or if you are uh, in a college event even the college universities will provide a mail of the recruiter that's it right. so i think uh, location doesn't matter so until unless uh, you crack the interview everything you just go settle and you uh, can continue right. your lower in expense and uh, you're getting you got your part time job so you are also being able to work part time overall you would say that glasgow is a better choice glasgow is a 100% definitely <laughs> better choice than england or london okay. yeah. that's again very insightful because that's one question that everyone has in their mind sort of trying to conclude it with the point that you know the rules and regulations are changing there's a white paper there will be more such regulations coming and you know things are getting tougher would you still advise students who want to come to the uk come here no i would like to advise uh, to come uh, for, for few students who are basically interested only in the education they want to come and educate on uh, they want to land a job then you come just come study and uh, land a job but if you are having some other thoughts like uh, i will study and i will do my part time as well and uh, you will 
simply will just lead towards doing more part time so that will be a problem so if you just have to prepare mentally before you ca- come to uk that uh, i will only stick to my education more and uh, i will do my part time how much i can need and i don't uh, do more than 20 i will stick on to my legal hours and i will use my other hours and i will make them product gain more skills that kind of student i think uh, he won't find any difficulties how difficult are the new regulations came So you are saying anyone who is looking to come for education, uh, willing to spend time on learning, do it, do part time, but yeah. do it in the limit yeah. and uh, focus on your education. If you are doing that, then the opportunity is still real. You still think that students will find job and you will find a job. Yeah, for sure. But it does take some time, but uh, he will definitely surely land a job. Uh, plus point is the uh, UK degree is one of the well known degrees. Uh, the difficulty is greater than the US course curriculum is greater than the US or some other country. UK curriculum is uh, difficult you can land a job uh, in a uh, europe as well or us as well so there is a, a visa for germany if you have done your uh, masters in uk so you can have a one year visa to germany uh, but many people won't uh, go to the side because you can't get a psw here again yeah you can have international exposure not only you are limited to the, this country or not only in london or edinburgh you can apply the same companies for over the different uh, countries right and do you think if you applied for a job now back in india you would get a better job than you had before previously i think i could have get but uh, i wouldn't be satisfied yeah. i could have been in a junior role uh, back again yeah. so i need a masters degree so that i i got some exposure now i will have experience from here if i after few years if i want to go back then i will definitely be in like a, a senior engineer or principal engineer for sure if in india it does take some time to reach uh, the next position so it will be easier if you just so you are uh, saying now yeah. with the education here and if you are able to get experience here then that will be very helpful for you to get a more senior role back yeah. in india of course that is why we are all studying more to accelerate our career yeah. journey you were sharing about certain friends of yours who went to university of southampton for a mm-hmm. similar course what is their feedback so guys let's take a small pause and let me tell you that i counsel hundreds of students looking to study abroad every month and i am here to help you guys not just with understanding your profile which country or university is the best one for you but help you through the admission process and me and my team will get you your visa on time and if you want a one on one counseling session with me please go into the description there is a link to my calendly and you can book a one on one slot with me and let's get back to our video now uh, their feedback uh, what i have seen was the course was 100% into the chip designing or uh, design there will be three roles design verification design engineer and physical design engineer the course was completely based on that there were less amount of students like uh, 14 13 14 students they do landed a job after the course so i'm just talking uh, the previous year students so i got a feedback of uh, the specific thing they only got the things which are needed by the high value companies and what a skill set they require but they are the ones who shared with you what kind of uh, skills you you need so uh, i think guys it's very important because if you're coming for uh, electronics engineering or you are interested in vlsi then these are some of the things that you must ensure that you know because they are the ones which are getting students the employment in their domain and also yeah. with some of the largest companies qualcomm is a huge company yeah. right and some of the largest companies around the world and i think that is the reason why we are all coming here for so please keep this in mind and take a note of it uh, what are you doing now to ensure that you learn all those skills in my course time in my semester 1 i do went uh, the, uh, through these all subjects what i have mentioned now yeah after this i have to just practice on what i have learned because i have to practice a different the same subject but in a different so multiple uh, time multiple you have to apply have in different to, uh, yeah. situations so that you can have a thorough learning and experience have you tried reaching out for internship in your domain so basically uh, i didn't tried till now uh, started applying from indeed we can't target the hu- big companies while you are in the semester 1 just uh, you have done yeah. your semester 1 at least you could have complete M- your msc project so that uh, you could have explained them like i have this i have done this and that in my msc project i use the verilog and uh, i use that tikel script so i would like to have an interview so we can just uh, do that but i was not uh, fully confident uh, i do need some practice whenever my msc projects done then i will start applying and people here will uh, start applying after the semester 
after two or after their MSc and they will apply for the roles what they have seen but they have to stick to the same role even it's from a startup or it's a big company actually you have to decide yourself on what role you want to work yeah so it depends upon the country the name of the role changes you have to figure out what you want to do and what's the role so just um, start applying even if you are applying a single application per day is enough mm-hmm. but but uh, don't just apply like bulk uh, every random stuff in the last you will just uh, see whole rejections because you are you're saying you are, you apply apply very focused you may not apply that many but apply in a very focused manner yeah. in the relevant field where you pick i want to do this and then yeah. you make sure you are applying well uh-huh. but to only that field yep sure thanks again for sharing all that information okay. that you've been gathering for yourself and sharing it with everyone who might be looking to come to uk for studying electronics engineering thank you so much jaya for uh, helping us understand the whole uk perspective what is it like to study at a russell group university which is known for its research and a beautiful campus and a great city of glasgow so thank you for your time and if you guys want to learn more about such universities in the uk different domains of studying here in the uk then do subscribe to our channel and share this link with your friends who might be looking for studying electronics engineering vlsi or similar program and this information can be highly valuable to them so thank you all and that is me piyush bhartia your study abroad coach signing out from glasgow scotland thank you very much thanks for having me if you are having any further doubts uh, you can just see my email in the description so you can just uh, mail me directly so i can just guide you thank you thanks guys and that's it from us goodbye So if you like this content please subscribe to our channel and i will see you all in the next video so do you think you will get a job in the uk for sure i will get yeah.